Since my first Dudley video was actually pretty popular and a lot of people had questions about it because I wasn't speaking during the video, this time I'll actually do a video and guide you through it. Alright, first things first, this is a cutaway Dudley that I made. As you can see, the whole internal workings of it are there. See the wheels turn and everything. Alright, so the goal of it is to actually line up all the gates to where this black lever actually closes on it and allows you to open the lock. So, if we were doing it just quickly, this. That should line up. See how it lines up in the grooves? Alright. <coughs> so getting started. First you have to find yourself one of these security tags. On the back you can see what we're looking for. Little metal strips. They fit well in the shackle part here. This is one of the strips that I pulled out of one. To make it easier, you could put a bend on the end of the strip. It allows you to actually contact the top of the wheels. Yes, my hands are dirty because I've just been working on a car. And, uh, yeah, it's grease. So, sorry for that. First things first, you take it and you slide it in if you're looking at it from the front which is the way you're supposed to be normally take it on the left side with the bend facing you and put it through the shackle I'll go from the back because now you'll actually see how it works See it slides in. And we're assuming that we don't know the combination so that it's in any direction possible. <coughs> now what you're doing is you're trying to get the little piece of foil here to contact the wheels. To do that you've got a couple of ways. Most of the time it's playing around with the thing. <coughs> until you finally get it to touch. The good thing about this method is that it actually places the foil exactly where the that lever comes down. So you don't even have to play around with the combination, you could basically solve it without having to do any special calculations for it. Alright, so starting as you can see, you place this you could use the actual lever to get you to place properly too. Now once it's like this, you start solving your combination. So obviously it's got to go around. Once the wheel goes around, you could hear a noise. It usually means that it's gone into that one there, or the little fake one, the uh, the false gate. We're going to assume that it goes into the real one here. If it goes into the false one, you just have to try to find the real one anyway. Same procedure. Alright, so when it falls into place like that, you know the first number is around 20. You just use it again and keep pushing into the, the lock itself. You push right up against the second gate. And the same thing. This time we're turning in the direction as if you're opening the lock. So it goes in the opposite direction. Uh, or counterclockwise. So 
not a foolproof method either way. You really have to feel your way around the lock and hope that it does line up properly. You could get it from 30 seconds to about an hour depending on how badly the whole thing's lined up. And you hear the noise, it clicked again, which means that that should line up properly. Using this method, that's the only thing you need this strip for. When the second one lined up, that two on the actual combination here. So now the last part of it is to actually just work the lock for the last number. So you pull this out and You pull nothing, nothing. You can skip about every two numbers because it makes there is enough of a groove on there to allow for it. And there you go. 22 was the last number. It all lined up. Now this method, you really have to get used to hearing the clicking from the foil. Because it does obviously make a distinct sound whenever it falls into a gate. You'll also sometimes, depending on how you position it, end up with the false gates, which I'll show you them right now. If you look at it. That right there is a false gate. It's a shallow gate. It will not let the lock open by itself. So you have to learn the differences in sound between that gate and the differences in feel. But that's basically a method, and it does take practice to get good at. And even when you're good at it, you'll still have problems sometimes because of tolerances on the locks. Anyways, thank you.